What's up everybody, Steven the Lightspeed, and today is a special day for me and my Voron V0. Today we are crossing 1,000 printing hours with this little printer. I got this printer back in February from Jason LDL Motors. Uh, thank you very much. No money changed hands. It was my opinions are all my own. He sent me this printer and I was very grateful. Of course, I couldn't leave well enough alone and I certainly cannot use the hot end that comes with it, a Fetus 3D hot end. So uh, I went to my friends over at Slice Engineering and I immediately put in a couple of upgrades that I think are essential for any Voron. I put in a Bontech um, LGX Lite, which is probably one of the best extruders on the market. And then I also put in a Mosquito Magnum. Some other upgrades I've done to it is I added my own version of NeoPixel lighting. It has 16 NeoPixels, 8 on each side, controlled individually by the Clipper firmware. Originally, when I built this printer, uh, I reached out to Duet and they were happy to send me their Duet 3 Mini 5 Plus board. And that's originally what I built this printer with to run on RepRap firmware. After a couple of months of using the, the RepRap firmware and the Duet like I do on many of my other printers, um, reading and seeing other people's Vorons, I was realized that Clipper is far advanced and they're much more in tune with what Vorons are supposed to be, which are fast, accurate, good quality printers. And I attempted to work Clipper on the Duet board. Uh, unfortunately, that just did not bear fruit. In the end, I ended up switching back over to a Big Tree Tech board. And so far that Big Tree Tech board has been working fantastically. I'm very, very happy with it. Some other upgrades I've done, again, went to Mandela Roseworks and I got one of his ultra flat mag beds. They're just the best bed for any Voron that I've seen on the market. And I know what you're saying, little bed, what does it matter? It does matter. Cause the bed I got from LDL Motors, uh, it had a little dip in the front left corner of it and I, it was really, really hard to print around it. And so switching over to the Mando Roseworks bed, it just kind of eliminates the issue. And then lastly, I did a Kiragami bed frame. I recently just uh, was sent a Kiragami bed kit from LDL Motors, and it is a uh, far superior than the one I have, and so I'm looking forward to installing that. It has uh, NeoPixels actually built into it, and you have like a little glowing um, Voron logo. And then outside of that, uh, like I said, we we're just about ready to cross a thousand print hours on this printer. Um, and in that time, the only thing I've had to do to it is I had a, one of the stainless steel uh, rails went dry. And I know that's kind of a weird thing. Um, I did grease them when I got it, but for some reason, one of the rails just started making a hellacious noise and then just stopped. The only other little upgrade I've done is I've done the uh, LDO display. Moral of this video is whatever you buy from LDO, I guarantee you, I promise you, my personal guarantee, you're gonna be very, very happy with it. If I had to give this a 10 out of 10, I would give it a nine out of 10. The only part I don't like about this printer is the top hat. There's recently an upgrade that came out um, from Hartkey, I think is what his name is. And he basically builds an extrusion based uh, top hat for this. And that is a far superior design because it can be locked in place and you can actually put a handle on it and carry it from the top like a little piece of luggage, which is exactly what I want to do. The reason I want to do that is because this little printer actually travels with me. I have taken this printer on thousands and thousands and thousands of miles um, as I travel for work and doing consulting around the country. I have a suitcase dedicated for the V0 that holds filament, holds my tools, and holds the V0 itself. Yes, it looks like I'm moving a body into a hotel room, but uh, at least I have my printer with me wherever I go. So with that being said, if you're looking for a fantastic uh, printer that sits on your desk, is ultra quiet, uber fast, and produces absolutely stunning prints, you cannot go wrong with the Voron V0. It's a pretty easy build, the manual's easy to follow, and you'll be very happy with it. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to help. If you want me to build one for you, I am always happy to do that also. I don't want to be in the 3D printing build, uh, building business. I want to be in the inspire and motivating business. But if you really want one and you think you can't build it, I would build one for you. Again, this is my official review of my Voron V0 as we cross the thousand hour mark of printing. And my printer has morphed from a little cocoon to a butterfly and it is now my most robust, most reliable, most used day in and day out. It has officially replaced my Prusa. 
that I used to, that's the one I had going 24 seven. Now I have this V0 going 24 seven. I can sleep right next to it. I can talk right next to it. I can hold meetings at my desk here right next to it. And most people don't even know that it's printing unless they see it moving. So thanks for watching. Thanks for following. And uh, thanks for all your support. And if you got any questions, leave them in the comment below. And dang it, share the video. Asking too much. Grandma, there's this guy. Am I? Tell your grandma about me. Beautiful blue eyes, long eyelashes. Drives a grandma. Is that too much to ask? I don't think it is. So, tell your grandma about me. Um, check out my links in my bio. Uh, there's a lot of links to Slice Engineering and a few other affiliates that help me out and keep me on this channel and keep me uh, making new things and developing new products like the Voron V0. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.